Let's talk about the jQuery Accordion Tool. It's one of the many tools you'll find in the jQuery User Interface section of 90 Second Website Builder. I like the jQuery Accordion a lot. It adds a lot of functionality to your website that just looks good, and it's very versatile. It's a great way to display content, or you can actually use it as a sort of complex or sophisticated navigation system if you wanted to. You can turn it into a menu, and you could make it as narrow as you want. And there's just a lot of things you can do with the jQuery accordion on your website. Of course, because it's a jQuery object, once again, it picks up its theme or its look from the jQuery page theme. So right now, this is the look of Cupertino, this sort of uh, light blue look. We can change that by changing the page theme. We'll go to Page Properties, go to the Style tab of the Page Properties. And again, we're at the jQuery theme, and we can change this to something else, any one of many. Or again, as I've said in other videos, you could make your own theme if you wanted to. Let's pick this one called Pepper Grinder and see what it looks like. All right, that's kind of a nice look. The jQuery accordion is divided up into categories called items. Of course, again, you can change these, and you can have more or fewer of them. This area out here is the content area where you can drop objects, and you can open them up in the design mode here to put your objects in there. And you can put text, images, videos, even forms, just about anything you want. Let's do some of that. Let's put some text in this one, or any combination of these items can go in here. I'm going to put some dummy text in here just for now. And let's put an image or two in here just so we can have something to look at as we demonstrate this. I'm going to find a random image of some kind, picture of a mouse, kind of a big picture, but it fits in there just right. And let's see, let's open up this one and let's put some images or something else in here into section two here. I'm going to find another random image. It's a really big image, so I'm going to have to shrink it down. And let's put that in here. And let's put something in section three, maybe a video. It's a YouTube video. We'll put that here. Double click on it. And I'm going to turn this off so it doesn't go off every time we look at it. And, of course, you can put a number of things. The only thing you don't want to put inside a jQuery object normally is another jQuery object. Now, it's not that it will never work. It's just that you take a little bit of a risk. In other words, I wouldn't necessarily want to put inside this jQuery accordion, say, the jQuery tabs tool inside here. Because although it may look kind of cool and you might play with it and it might seem to work when you preview, it's not always going to work in every browser. So I would stay away from putting jQuery objects inside other jQuery objects. Or if you do really test them in multiple browsers, you're going to want to look at this in Google, uh, Internet Explorer, and Firefox at least to see how that parses. But normally I stay away from that. It makes the code pretty busy and uh, pretty complicated. So, but for the most part, you can put just about anything else you can imagine. PayPal buy buttons, carousels, text and links, videos, forms, text art, shapes and images, and the list goes on. Let's look at some of the settings we can do. First of all, I'm going to click F5 so we can see how this behaves. By default, it starts us off here in this first section. It's called item one. We're going to change the name of that. You can see I can hover over these and click on them and open up the accordion to display the content that's in the content area. It's a very, very nice look. So let's close this and change some of the settings to see what we can do. I'm going to double click, go to the Style tab of the jQuery Accordion Properties. The font can be any web safe font. I'll let you play with that. Any size you want and any style you want. Padding refers to the space around these things. So if you want to increase the padding or the distance that the font shows, you can play with these settings. I'm going to leave them because that should be pretty obvious. One of the things you're going to want to pay attention to for the jQuery Accordion is this little option called icon. You'll notice there's two icons. You have regular icon and selected icon. Regular icon is the icon that shows when the content area is closed. Selected icon is the icon that shows when the area is open or selected. And you can decide what these icons are. Right now, I'm just having it show the default little right triangle, down triangle. They're sort of like little arrows. But there are so many icons built in. The list seems infinite, but there are just a number of selections here. And you can decide which icon you want to use for your regular and selected. Their color will be picked up, again, by the jQuery theme. But their shape is selected here. 
Another thing you can control is the animation of when the content area opens. So right now it defaults to linear, which is what we were looking at. If we wanted to adjust this to be something a little more animated, I can do that too. Let me move this up so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go down here and select one that's called Ease In Bounce. And you can make it change the way it behaves. Let's look at that, by the way. So I'm going to go F5 to preview it. And you'll see that when the content area opens, there's a little bit of a bounce to it, depending on, you can see that little bit of a bounce, what kind of a browser you're using that may look slightly different. But you get the idea. There's just virtually unlimited choices on how you make that behave when it's clicked on. So I'm going to stick with the default linear. I think it looks fine. You can also activate these on mouse over. In other words, when the user hovers their mouse over these sections, it would display them rather than having them click. Uh, and you can also make them collapsible. Let me show you what that looks like. Click F5. This is what collapsible means. It means that even though I can open up this section, I can also click on it again and collapse it. And you can see the whole accordion collapsed. It can be pretty handy if you're trying to save real estate on your website. So I can open and close. The user can toggle these content areas or in other words collapse them closed if that's the way you want it to behave. So let's double click on this again and again it goes without saying that you can edit what these look like. Right now they say item one, two, three, etc. Let's edit these. You just select them, click edit and call them what you want. And it's that simple. Let's close this and you can see it gets updated. Again, we'll go back to the style tab. I want to show you one other thing that's rather important and that is what we call the active state. Now active means which section of your accordion is going to be open or selected by default. When the page loads, you want or you may want one of your sections to be open automatically. So for example, if I set this to a particular number that corresponds to one of these sections, that section will by default be open when the page loads. Now here's how that works. It can seem a little confusing because of the way these are numbered. The number zero pertains to the very top section. In my case, the one that's called products right now, where the big mouse is. And number one pertains to services. Number two pertains to more stuff. Number three, whatever you want, etc. So let's set this to number two. Now what does that mean? That means that zero, one, two, this section right here is going to be active by default when the page loads. Here's how that looks. So I set my active to section two. I'm going to click OK and we're going to do an F5. Watch what happens. You'll notice it's this section that was open when the page loads. This is section zero, one, and two. This is section three. In my case, if I had more, there would be more. Even though I change this, if I was to reload the page, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to refresh this page, and you'll see that this section opens by default. That's called the active state, the one that's going to be active by default when the page loads you have full control over. The jQuery Accordion, it's a great tool to use with 90 Second Website Builder.